Time now for a look at your health. As many as 1.6 million Americans are currently on gluten-free diets, and that doesn't include the 2 million people who avoid gluten, that's that protein in wheat, who have celiac disease. So this is a diet a lot of people are on right now. And what does that mean for Thanksgiving for those of you who need to avoid it or want to avoid it or want to have a healthier Thanksgiving? Well, we turn to Dr. Mitchell Goldman from UCSD, as we do every Tuesday, for some advice on how to have a gluten-free Thanksgiving. Thanks for being here. It's wonderful to be here, and it's wonderful to share this wonderful Thanksgiving dinner, which is all gluten-free with all of the viewers that need to have a gluten-free diet. And you can see that almost everything we have we would have on our own tables. And have you had to extract the ingredient or is it gluten-free as is? Well, this is all gluten-free, so it's all baked. So, mm -hmm. for instance, you can't have flour because flour is what gluten is in barley. But you know, even when you do oats, sometimes the oats can be contaminated with gluten. So you have to make sure you're using a potato starch, and that's how you can have this wonderful bread. You mm -hmm. can have wonderful desserts with it as well. Potatoes, of, of course, are okay. And when you're roasting a turkey, you just can't have a bread stuffing, but you can have lots of other things stuffing it up, which are going to taste really great. Well, let's ask the question or pose the question that a lot of people are wondering. Is going gluten-free, particularly at Thanksgiving as well, is it a healthier option or is it just a choice? You know, it's only healthy for people that have celiac disease or a gluten enteropathy, it's called. And that's only less than 1% of all Americans. So going gluten-free tends to be more of a faddish kind of thing for many people. Of course, not for people that need it, but for many other people. For instance, if you go gluten-free, you're actually gonna consume more calories. So gluten-free diet is actually more caloric. And so you're gonna get a you little bit heavier. Weight. Yeah, so you don't do a gluten-free diet if you wanna lose weight. Well, what are some of the symptoms that you might be somebody who's either gluten intolerant or may have have celiac disease because the statistics of the people that are walking around in society that don't even know they have it are quite large as well. Yeah, well it's basically being bloated, having stomach upset, going to the bathroom too often or so part, part of the of symptoms. symptoms. Other, Other is, is a, a rash. rash. Many people with mm -hmm. a gluten problem will have a rash that tends to be very, very itchy on their body. It's almost like little red bumps and the way you can distinguish it, it's symmetrical. So the rash isn't just like a little bit here, a little bit there, but it's all, especially around the lower back, both sides. And that goes for not just celiac, but just a gluten intolerance? It is. It's okay. called dermatitis herpetiformis. It's a fancy name, but it has to do with a gluten uh, problem. Let's turn our attention back to the spread because, you know, I'm looking at dessert down here. I what know. are some dessert options if you have to avoid flour? Well, pumpkin pie is great, but you can use potato starch as a flour instead. And so this wonderful, which I'm sure everyone in the studio is going to be eating right after this, is actually really good with pumpkin, but it has a different type of crust. You also have the cheesecake over here. And then, of course, we've got our, our cranberry sauce and sweet potato. And you can even make a type of a stuffing with vegetables and yams. So this actually looks pretty good, and, but you do need to read the labels. You really do, because you don't, it, it's just, it has to be gluten free. All right, and it is billions, and I think up to a $7 billion industry or something crazy like that. It now. really is, and again, it's extremely important for those less than 1% of Americans that have a problem, but if you want to go gluten free, you can do it in style. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We're always thankful to have you every Great. Tuesday. And happy have a Thanksgiving to everyone. Yes, and have a wonderful holiday with you your too, family. Kathleen. All right, and we'll send it over to you, Laura.